Should I just go sign Jiao right now? See, I don't know when the right time to sign guys is, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I sign him now, the buyout fee is very low. Yeah, the Latifi one's pretty small, too. Yeah, let's hire Zhao. Let's try and get him for a couple seasons, though. Also, I don't know how much to pay him. He's making 550000 right now. Let's bump that to 770000 Race target. It's got to be 10th. I'm not giving him 12th like I did for fucking the other motherfucker. We'll make it 100000 I just realized I'm trying to offer him 100000 for finishing 10th. But yet I gave Albon 600000 for 12th place. <laughs> I'll give him a big signing bonus though. Try and incentivize him. Let's see if he goes for this. Car one, two seasons. Salary's too low. Everything else is okay. But the bonus threshold is not what he wants. Okay, I'll give him a better salary and we'll kind of go from there. I can give him a mill a season. I think that's okay. What do you guys think? A mill a season is still too low. Yikes. Let's give him two mil. And I'll move that to 12th. <laughs> I'll give him 12th. I don't care. Two mil is still too low. What is he asking for? I don't know, dude. What does Albon's contract look like? Oh, 6.5. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I gotta give him something similar. <laughs> or do I try and get Vettel? I'm gonna wait. 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 Regulation changes. Okay, that's fine. We already knew this was coming. Okay, another upgrade. So now people might be more interested. Our suspension research project is done. Staff changes. Nothing changes there. Driver changes. Okay. I don't think we have enough time to research a new car part, but I'll try it. I also don't have any hours to focus on it, so like the change will be basically nothing. Yeah, it's not gonna be done in time. Okay, that's fine. We're done. We're done with any car part changes. Right now it's about our staff. <laughs> it's about our drivers. So let's go back to the scout part of this. So Botas is open to negotiation, but Botas is going to cost me $10 million to buy him out, which I'm not doing. Gasly's still not interested. I'm still scouting Vettel. I've still got a couple days left. And then there's Magnuson, and then there's Zhao. I don't know what to do. There's also Stroll who I could scout real quick. I kind of want Jiao. I'm just going to offer him, offer him a very similar contract to, to Albon. And if he goes for it, then great. If not, then it is what it is. I 
All right, we got him. Higher. All right. Zhao is our new number one driver. Albon is still our number two. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And then I want to sign... I want to sign this guy as our reserve. I don't know how much money reserves make. Offer from like that and then something like this. We'll kind of see what he decides. See if we can figure it out. Yeah, it's fine. We only got him for one year, so we'll have to re-sign him after this, but... We got a young guy as our reserve so we can kind of build them up a little bit, you know? Because by the time that Williams is actually relevant in F1, he'll probably be a really good driver. So we'll just, we'll need him to kind of, you know, take his time, develop. And uh, yeah, we'll be good from there. I don't mind this. Zhao is our number one. Albon is our number two. Jack is there. I'd love if we got a little bit better on the staff side of things like our technical chief is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so he's the worst of the best ten available right our head of aerodynamics is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven seeing like i could go get christina but the problem is, is that I'd have to pay David Weathers buyout, which is a mill. And I'd rather just not do that. And our race engineers are terrible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have the 13th best out of 20. 14, 15. I mean, that's still pretty bad. Ugh. Especially because some of these guys up here are open to negotiation, but I don't want to have to pay a crap ton of money to go get them. Like if I propose this guy a contract, I'd have, to, I'd have to pay a mill, no matter what. And I don't want to have to pay a mill for what could only be a pretty small upgrade. So, you know what? It is what it is. Let's just go through the rest of the season. We'll figure it out next season. Oh, uh, what a disappointing first season, dude. What a disappointing first season. I really thought we were going to have a shot at the championship. I mean, not, a, not the championship. <laughs> Our simulator's in poor condition. Let's spend $10 million and upgrade it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, unused scouts. Idle manager engineers yeah but i can't do anything like these research projects aren't going to be able to be done in time so there's no point you see what i'm saying like how many days are there till the next season probably not a lot unless i could do it on like the suspension if there's like i mean suspension goes pretty quick yeah suspension goes in 17 days but still not worth it i guess i could have done that earlier that one's on me that one's on me guys that probably could have gotten us a little bit better and honestly the little bit better that we would have gotten from that probably would have meant a lot <laughs> ATR period restarts preseason starts Well, disappointing first season. Wish we could have done better, but and here we are. It's time for season number two, baby. Come on, let's go. We're going for a fucking podium this year. We will get a podium, guaranteed. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom before we start season two. <laughs>
I'm back. Like I never left. All right. Here we go. You know what time it is. It's the start of a new season. Sponsor obligations. It's all fine. Driver experience gain is paused for each week. Don't want to do that. Memo Bilia Rooms morale boost will be paused. That's not that much money. Pit cruise performance will decrease. Don't want to do that. Um, this all seems fine. The rest of the rest of those opportunities are not like big enough for me to really care. Okay, our season objective, ninth or above. We knew that. Long-term objective is to score points in 50% of the season's races by 2024. So we've got two seasons <laughs> to do that. <laughs> our balance. Okay. I don't understand a lot of that. Our technical stuff don't really need to look at our cost cap is fine okay we are ready do we stick with the mercedes engine select a powertrain manufacturer alpine red bull ferrari and mercedes manufacture their own powertrain so cannot change manufacturer but we can change And we could actually change to Red Bull and save five mil. Because Red Bull's first. Oh wait, that's just best team finish. Well, I mean, their power's still better. Better, not better, not better, not better, better, not better. I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> Oh, that's just all about durability. Uh, yeah, but at the same time, if I wanted to spend more money, I could go, I could go with Ferrari, which is even better than Mercedes. No, you know what? Let's just go with Red Bull, you know? If it's $5 million cheaper, we're doing it. Without a doubt in my mind, we are doing it. Confirm. Done. Easy. Light work. Okay. Internal car report. Cool. New regulations. Got it. Got it. Yes, we finished last. ATR period starts today. Car part development is open. Let's get straight into it, boys. First things first, we do the underfloor. The underfloor is the most important thing. Okay. Let's put a good amount of effort into it. Let's do 2.9 on this. We could do two on the other ones. And then let's do, let's do like 30 hours. Uh, let's do 32. That way we leave 30 for the other two that we decide to do. Okay. I like this. I like this. Just max out everything. Okay. This is a big upgrade right off the bat. We put five engineers on it. We rush the speed. And we go. Okay. Perfect. Design. What's next? What's the other most important part? 
probably front wing and rear wing, if I had to say. So we do two on each of these. We do 30 hours. But now that being said, the ATR period actually ends before 64 days. Which I think we have the underfloor set to finish in like 54 days. So we would have another project ready. I don't really know what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should save some hours. Because 54 and 58, and then the ATR period ends in 64 days. So we'll have enough time to do more projects, actually. So, for that reason, let's keep it simple. And let's just do a couple minor upgrades right now. No, because then we'll want to do full upgrades when the time comes next time. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's just fucking max it out. Let's just, let's do big upgrades right off the bat. Big explosive upgrades. We're coming into next season hot. Our car is going to be immaculate. Okay. All right. So we got those going. Perfect. Our drivers. We got Zhao at number one. We got Albon number two. And then Duhan there. We got our staff raring to go. Okay, I like this. I like this. I like this. Now let's just kind of roll along here. Wind tunnel, done. I like it. I like it a lot. Suspension simulator, poor condition. Let's upgrade it. 7.5, that's nothing for us. That's probably a lot. We probably shouldn't have done that. But it's fine. Albon can upgrade. We're going to upgrade his defending more. And then we're going cornering after that. Okay? Pretty simple. Duhan can also upgrade. His smoothness is terrible. We're going to get that to at least somewhat relevant. One upgrade for our technical chief. We're going to do that on the suspension. Because we're just going to make him as even as possible. Okay? pretty simple ideas that we have going on here okay very straightforward very easy we're just gonna get into next season we're gonna go head first car part test center poor condition 6.7 mil let's do it let's upgrade it i'm okay with that factory poor condition 11 mil Uh, that's a lot of money. Let's just refurbish it. <laughs> what else is in decline? Car parts facility, good. Staff facilities, good. Operations, good. Okay. We're happy there. Oh, shoot. They moved our season objective up to 7th or above. Yikes. Uh, okay. Let's upgrade Zhao's defending. His overtaking is really good, so if we could get his defending to be really good too, that'd be awesome. Jack, smoothness, easy. What about our staff? We got some upgrades on our staff? Yeah, we do. Uh, we'll go with the 70. Feedback. So he's got great affinity with Albon. Okay, he's got good affinity there too. Okay, I like that. Communication, good. I like this, I like this, I like this. This season's gonna be good, dude. We're gonna be, we're gonna be fucking relevant. We're gonna win the constructors, baby. Come on. <laughs> Underfloor complete. Test center poor condition. We can upgrade it. It's very minimal. Very minimal. Not a big spend. Okay, let's manufacture some of these. We gotta get four going. Let's get them rushed. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, so I could start a new project, but I don't have any AT hour, ATR hours, and it resumes in 10 days. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna wait 10 days. We're just gonna wait 10 days, okay? No need to rush into anything here. 
F1 is like a good relationship, you know? You just take your time. You just got to ease yourself into it. Nice and simple, nice and classy. You know, you take them out to a couple dinners, make them feel good about themselves. We like this. We like this. You like that? I like it. I like it. I like it. ATR period starts today. Car park development, new projects. You know what? While we're here, let's do another underfloor. You see what I'm saying? You guys see the vision? The underfloor is the most important part, right? So if we just keep upgrading it, and we keep doing the 2.9, and we keep doing 32, or whatever we did before, like we're just going to keep, our car is just going to keep getting better and better, you know? Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Eighty-one days. Fifty-four days. No, let's keep let's keep rushing those. Because they come back like right as the ATR ends, right? Okay, now let's do some chassis. Let's do like 1.5 and 15. Just because it's nice and even. I like that. Plus, we need to make our car more well-rounded overall, you know? And this won't take very long, so we don't need to we don't need to rush that. We don't need to rush that. Okay, front wing, rear wing, side pods. Let's do side pods next. Let's do a classy little 1.3 and 8. Hours. No, let's do a little bit more. 22 hours. And then the rest will be used on the suspension when that's ready. You guys see it? You guys see the vision? Put five of those bad boys on there. Do normal on that. Perfect. Love it. Love it. I like where we're at. Love it or list it, baby. Come on. Post Barcelona testing reports. Okay. 13th, 19th, okay, I don't care. Doesn't matter. We also haven't even put the parts on our car yet. I want I want people to feel like a little bit of a... Actually, I should probably put them on now just so they can get more used to them. Yeah, that's probably the right thing to do. Install. And we can get more knowledge on them and stuff, you know. And under floor, install. Because now our cars are looking dangerous. And I don't mean that in like a, we're going to intentionally crash into people way. I just mean in like a, you know, our cars look good. Cars look good. Let's compare to McLaren. Oh, we're fucking better than McLaren. We're fucking better. We're better by a good, we're, we're better by a good bit too. Our engine cooling and brake cooling is not great, but I don't really know how to upgrade those because every time I upgrade them, it's like very small. I don't know. I don't get it. Okay. Good on those. Our underfloor should be done here shortly. But we already have two of those. So we already put them on. Yep. Manufacturing complete. Helipad is in poor condition. Let's just upgrade it. It's not that much money. Good. I like it. I like it. Tour center upgrade complete beautiful I like where we're sitting right now we're looking we're looking raring to go we are ready unused scouts let me let me go scouts and drivers whoever's the best available who's interested No one's really interested. Gasly's now open to negotiation. Oh, of course he is. I already have you scouted. Everyone else we don't really care about. Unless there's like a really good young guy. 
Piastri? No. Sonoda? No. Jack, we already got. Let's scout this guy. Wait, he's actually younger and better than Jack. Why didn't we just get this guy? God damn it. I screwed that up. Latifi's now Alfa Romeo's number two. Wow, that is sad. I can't believe that dude's still allowed to drive. This guy's 17. We'll scout him. I probably should go scout, like, staff. <laughs> but that's not what we're here for. Helipad is good to go. Bahrain testing results. <laughs> Don't look now, but we're kind of good. <laughs> Our cars are kind of decent. Don't look now, though. Don't look now. And here we are. The Bahrain Open. Our first race of the year. Let's make sure we got everything we can on our cars. Rear wing, front wing. Side pods aren't done yet. Under floor. And we haven't even started one on the suspension. Let's see if we got any upgrades to dish out. Nope. Anything on the staff? Nope. Okay. We are as good as we can get right now. And keep in mind, this is the first race of the season, okay? Let's see. Let's see where we're at. <laughs> it's a big day. It's a big day. This will tell us a lot. This will tell us a lot, man. Car parts, we got the number ones on them. That's fine. Car setup. It'll be interesting to see which one of these two drivers is actually our best, though. Because, like, they're both very similar overall, right? That's a tough layout for Albon here. Yeah, I mean, they're both 80 overall, you know. Zhao did better last year, but he had a better car, obviously. Albon was stuck with us. The first practice session. What do we think? What do we think? Do we think any of our guys are top 10 in practice? The answer is no. We're 16th and 17th. Okay. Let's lower our expectations a lot. Okay. <laughs> I thought I thought we were going to be better than this. Uh, time to, yeah, time to <laughs> take a step back here. Reassess, reassess. Also, we're kind of just good at everything. I don't really know how to get much better, though. To be completely honest with you. I mean, we're just going to have to go with that and see what happens. He's also just good in everything. So then that means I'm just going to move a couple things slightly. See what happens. I can't really move anything. <laughs> well, here we are. First race of the year, and we already have no fucking clue what we're doing. <laughs> Not a great start here at Williams. Not a great start. <coughs> uh, excuse me. A little bit of a wrong pipe again. Okay, his straights are bad now. At least that gives me something I can look at and be like, okay, I can actually go fix something now. You know? No, that moves it further away. I'm being very finite with these details. 
That looks pretty decent. I think we're probably okay with that. 82% probably not gonna get much better. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's go. Last practice session and then we're diving straight into qualifying. <laughs> 14th to 16th our guys are next to each other though i think they're going to be like i said they're going to be very similar this year they're both going to be fighting for a spot we'll see kind of how they do where they end up and stuff but i don't know i've very much lowered my expectations within the last 20 seconds how about didn't even finish q1 you gotta be joking okay i mean xiao's our number one Zhao's our guy. Car parts, we change them. I'm going to be smart with my car parts this year. I don't want to run into an incident like we had last year where I was scrambling to figure out what to do with our car parts near the end of the season. I'd rather just... You know, have what we got and just use it, you know? Zhao's our number one, so he's getting the number one strategy. Done. Albon's our number two, so he's getting the number two strategy, even though it's 14 seconds less. That's insane. Should I just throw them on the same strategy and just, just pit them at the same time? I mean, if it's 14 seconds difference, that's pretty big. Honestly, screw it. Do it. <laughs> Our guys are very similar anyways, so might as well keep them on the same strategy, <laughs> you know? There's no reason to have them do different things if they're going to finish around the same spot. Now, will it screw over who comes in the pit second? Yes, it will. But if we're already focused on one driver anyways, then, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Can we get points in the first race of the season? Probably not. But, hey, keeping our hopes up, you know? We don't want to get too ahead of ourselves, but at the same time, we're excited. We're excited for this year. No other big changes for the team. Latifi's at Alfa Romeo, Ocon Alonso, Ricardo, Norris. That was the same. Oh, it's now Stroll and Shoemaker. And Sonoda is now with Haas. And Vettel is with Alpha Terrari. Interesting. So a couple changes. Nothing like super major, but a couple changes. We like how the season is looking. Xiao's in 11th. That feels like a good spot for him. And I don't really think I can push our tires too much on this strategy. This race is tough. Like, it wears tires out very quickly. So, we just got to let the boys do their thing. Zhao's not that far ahead of um, Albon. So, the pit is going to be big. <laughs> the fact that Albon's coming in second. But, it's not that big of a deal, you know. I mean, I could just pit Albon like a lap earlier. I think that actually makes sense. Let's just do that. Because the medium will be fine for a little bit longer, you know? I actually could have waited one lap, but it's fine. It's fine. Now Zhao goes in. Okay. Because I want to keep them fairly similar. I don't want to stretch them out too far apart from each other. But also now Albon is ahead of Zhao. So maybe I fuck that. <laughs> maybe I should have had Zhao come in first. I'll have Zhao come in first on this. Eh, no, I need Albon to come come in first because his tires are going to be more tired. It's fine. I'll just keep doing this. 
I'll bring Albon in a lap early, and then Zhao will go on his normal lap. Their flight, they're fighting around that 12 spot, man. And that 12 spot is where they get paid. <laughs> they know this. And they're trying everything they can to get paid there. <laughs> and it's pissing me off. Also, Verstappen is just murdering people. Still 12th and 14th. Nothing major here. Someone just walked into our house from the front door. That's a little weird. <laughs> Give me a sec. because he just went to go see my barber. That's a very important thing for a man. It's his barber. And so if his boys go to see his barber and they like him, it's a good sign. You know, that's that's big for, like, me. I feel really good about myself right now because of that, you know? It's a big sign in a friendship when someone goes to your barber. Everyone knows this. All right, let's keep racing, boys. We're sitting in 13th and 14th. You guys don't get paid in 13th and 14th. Uh-oh. We're in the pit strategy for both of them. Like I said, we're going to pit Albon one lap early. That way they're not pitting at the exact same time. <laughs> Albon pit time. He's going to the soft. Zhao will be the lap after. And it's Zhao's turn. Oh, Zhao locked up. That's not good. This pit's going to drop him. And yeah, he's in 15. Albon's racing for the money. He's trying to get the money, man. He's in 11th. He's in 12th now, and he's not going to get 10th. So, do I tank him? <laughs> uh, no. I'm not tanking my guys this season. If they get top 12... They get top 12. They earned it. I'm not going to tank them. I'll, I'll pay them. I'll pay them their money. I don't care. <laughs> Zhao ran wide again. Jesus. Albon, your tires are fine. Shut the fuck up. Do you want me to tank you to 13th? I'll do it. It wouldn't be that hard for me to do it right now. It would not be that hard for me to tank you. Not going to do it, though. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be a good manager, you know? I'm going to pay our boys their money. Make them nice and happy. Because, I mean, Albon's still, like... You know, he's a uh, running wide or a spin away from being top 10, so. I'll leave him there. Yeah, with a disappointing race, though. Yeah, Zhao was a big disappointment today. Big, big disappointment. Well, just outside of the points to start the season. 
but Albon had a great race. He moved up five spots. That's dope. Just outside of the points on the first race. Just outside. That's fine. We got plenty of time throughout this season to get there. See, that's the thing is... Albon's bonus is so much higher than Zhao's is. <laughs> like, he's getting $650,000. That's absurd for a bonus for 12th place. That's absurd. I mean, it's my fault, but still. <laughs> it's annoying. Alright, I don't think there's really any upgrades that we can do. Our design for the chassis is done in a couple days, so we'll wait for that. Race prep, looking good. Cars should be the exact same. Yep, don't need to do anything. Don't need to mess around with it. Our drivers, uh, Jack has another upgrade. Let's give him some more smoothness. But you need some Riz. That'll make him a little bit more smooth, you know? How... How much Riz do you think an F1 driver has? Because I saw on Twitter today that Lewis Hamilton was hanging out with Shakira on a boat in Miami. But that's Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton's probably the Rizziest F1 driver of all time. But then again, we got Fernando Alonso, who's dating Taylor Swift now, obviously. So I think they got a good amount of Riz. We just need, like, Max Verstappen to start dating, like... Kim Kardashian. <laughs> That'll let us know if F1 drivers truly have Riz or not. <laughs> race number two. We're off to the races, as I guess you could say. See what I did there? I know, it was pretty good. Car parts, we put the number ones back on for practice and qualifying. Just nice and solid. We're doing exactly what we need to here. Nothing special, nothing special. We're just doing the right thing every single race, and we're getting better and better, slowly but surely. You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? That was a terrible noise, by the way. That's on me. I'm sorry, guys. This is a weird setup from Albon. But hey, if it gets them to drive fast, I don't care. Albon 11. Zhao in 17. What is Zhao doing? Is he even racing? Uh, his setup was pretty poor. That's probably why. Okay, let's fix the setup. This needs to be down here. This needs to be, like, also down here. Everything else was just good, so I'm just going to move it heavily and see what happens. Anything bad on his? Nope. Goods and greats. I don't care. Goods and greats mean 12th place. Now it's 12th. 46% now for a set of confidence. <laughs> I'm getting further and further away. <laughs> the guess and check is not really working. looks pretty good actually that should be good for him I mean we'll find out but I think that's about as good as we're gonna be able to do let's be honest here I mean he's still in 15th so yeah he's at 83% so we have put you in the position to succeed Yao. now it's up to you to go do so simulate to the race 
see how qualifying goes. <laughs> now Albon finishes last in, or first one out in the first qualifying. Zhao qualified 11th though, or 12th. We'll take it. We'll take it. Also, if Zhao can get 12th instead of Albon, I'll be very happy about that. Very, very happy. Car parts. Readjust here. Readjust. We just got to remember to do this before every single race. Every race this season is so important to us. Xiao gets the best strategy. I don't want to have to pit twice. I could pit Albon twice, but then I have to manage his race a little bit more, and I don't know if I really want to do that. I mean, it's two seconds better. I should do it. I should do it. I should do it. Let's be smart about this. But then maybe I should do it for Zhao instead of Albon. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Screw it. Just start race. <sighs> I'm too indecisive for this game. Come on, Williams. Let's get some fucking points on the board. Come on. Zhao can't really push all that much. He might be able to push a little bit on the medium towards the end. But Albon should be able to push with the soft. Maybe within the last couple laps on the uh, before the pit window. But hey, this is Zhao's race. Zhao's in 13th. Albon's in 16th, okay? We gotta be smart about this. We gotta be smart. Albon overtakes Latifi. Was there ever a doubt? Lo-fi music. So was the best. Always the best. Okay, let's put them on attack. Let's wear those tires into the ground. to the hard and then take him off of attack okay we got Albon exactly where we want him Zhao on the other hand he's up to 12th we might be able to push a little bit on the mediums here shortly this song has serious Mario vibes you know what I'm saying Let's go. Attack. See if Zhao can make up some ground here. Okay. And I'll take him off when it's that last lap before he's about to pit. We just need him to pick it up a little bit. Make these guys work for it. Make these guys work for it. Come on. You know what needs to be done. And time to pit. Okay. He's going on the hard. Taking him off of that aggressive, put him back on standard. We like this setup. Albon's got 14 laps before he has to pit. He's on the hard. He can push a little bit towards the end. I'll probably push him with, let's say, like eight laps before the pit window. We'll kind of monitor that a little bit. But I mean, if Albon pushes, he's trying to push on Zhao. Which honestly, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, if those guys are next to each other, I'm pretty happy. You know what I'm saying? I think we can push him a little bit. I'll put him on attack. We'll keep monitoring it. I'll go back to it with, like, three laps left and see where he's at. 
I mean, the ground that he would be making up is the ground on Zhao, so. Which, like I said, it ain't the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I should probably pull him back a little bit. Just have him be aggressive. We don't really want him below 30% by the time that he's about to pit. That's where it gets a little dangerous. Yeah, he's probably going to be good on this for the rest of the way. And people are starting to pit above him. Albon's entered pit strategy. Yeah, we're going to leave him there for now. And we'll probably start it. I mean, when he starts on the medium, we'll probably have him stay on that attack line. You know what I'm saying? All right, time for Albon to go to medium. Zhao's up to 10. What just happened? Oh, shit. Signs just completely spun out. Is that a red flag? Oh, it's a red flag. That is absolutely brutal for Albon. I guess he stayed in 14th. He didn't pit before that, which is fine. Can Zhao go on soft for the rest of the race? Yeah, there's only 12 laps left. Yeah, he can go on soft, for sure. Same thing with Albon. Yeah, yeah. Put him on the soft. Everyone's going to go on the soft, okay? Let's not be stupid here. We know what everyone's going to do. It's a red flag. 12 laps left. Everyone's going on soft. Everyone's going to push. End of discussion. It's just about if we can be faster than anyone. You know what I'm saying? We should not put him on aggressive if we're going to do that. All right. Let's see how this goes. It's all about when we push Zhao. Yep, everyone's on soft. Except for some people are on soft that are worse. And so it'll kind of depend on how their tires hold up. We might be able to have a really good race here. another crash we're not getting a red flag though it was max Verstappen has plummeted you can see look everyone's tires are just gonna wear out I think we go aggressive we gotta go aggressive here about how aggressive we can get, you know? Jow's up to sixth, bro. Is a podium in play? <gasps> no, no, he dropped. No, he dropped. Go all out. Go all out. Go all out, you motherfucker. We don't even care about Albon at this point. Get fucking third, Zhao. He's fucking right on Botas's ass. Come on, Zhao. Did he get there? He got there. We got third. We got third! Second season, second season, second race, third place. We got a podium. Let's go, baby. Williams racing on the podium in our second season, second race. Let's go, baby. Oh, that's insane. Look at the man up there. With fucking... Leclerc and Russell. <laughs> what a three. I told you everyone was going to have to pit on those soft tires. We were lucky that we had soft tires ready to go. Dude, a fucking third and eighth. And eighth. Dude, that red flag actually came in massive. <laughs> 
Verstappen and Perez did not finish in the points. Dude, that's insane. Us and Haas were the only two who had both cars in points. Zhao in sixth in the driver's standings. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to last long. Let's be honest with ourselves. But still. Zhao, Guan Yu just got a podium. Ladies and gentlemen, the second season of Williams Racing. And Zhao gets a podium. And Williams is currently sitting in fourth place in the Constructor Championship. <laughs> I mean, we're only two races in, but still, that's insane. That's insane. Jeez, what a race. What a race. Well, I guess I better tell Cooper, because Cooper said once we get podium for the first time, we're going to have a, a champagne parade. <laughs> A champagne celebration in the stream room but uh i guess that's not happening wow that's insane jeez we'll keep upgrading his defending what a race what a race we'll keep upgrading both of their defending and then we gotta upgrade albon's corner in a little bit wow what a race Dude, we literally raced that perfectly around the circumstances. That red flag was absolutely ideal. It came in at the perfect time. You couldn't you couldn't have scripted a better race for us. Everything about that race was perfect. It was exactly how we needed it to go. Damn, we're in fourth. Let's go, baby. Let's go.